G'day everyone, welcome to this video. I told you I'd be back, didn't I? Um, so this is just a quick video uh, that I thought I to, that I thought I would do to demonstrate Poslink. Um, Poslink is a very interesting technology developed by FPOS New Zealand, and um, this is demonstrating it on the BX820 Duet terminal with sales point point of sales software. So, um, yep, this is it. This is my or not my, this is FPOS New Zealand's um, PC FPOS terminal, so I just put that to there for now. And we're focusing on this. So this is the VX820 Duet terminal uh, with the receipt printer and um, Ethernet interface. And um, so let's say you wanted to do a sale, and I'm going to go through my reasons for why I have this and what I'm doing uh, in a moment. I'm just going to demonstrate a sale. To do a sale, you would select the items you want. So let's say I wanted a steak and cheese pie in a regular a black coffee, uh, then on this, if it was just a plain FPOS sale, I'd select FPOS, then it would come up on the terminal, I then get my card, either insert it or use contactless, do my pin and stuff, hit enter, And then we have that there. Now, this is an interesting way to do it. I don't exactly like this um, interface. So, I will just show you what it would look like. So let's say this is your merchant front desk, counter, whatever. You would have um, this. So you would have your FPOS terminal, your printer, and your computer. Let's say this was just um, uh, a touch screen. You would have this facing you initially. You would then select what you wanted, and then you would say that was $7.50, thank you, hit FPOS, then give this to the customer, the customer would then do what that was, then hand it back to you, and you would hand it back, then your receipts would print out, and then you would, then you are good to go, but then you have the receipt, customer receipt. Um, I would say that feature can be should be disabled to be honest, and I can't exactly disable it on that pin pad because I don't have the everyday password or whatever the daily password. So this is the receipt you get. This is um, and this is the receipt from the terminal. Now what I would want, what I would in an ideal world, and I'm gonna tell you a thing in a minute. What I would like is for this to be very streamlined. You know how when you go to New World or whatever and you see, um, you go up to yourself, check out, you select the options you want, then you hit um, pay and whatever, then you pay with your um, FPOS card, well, and then it just comes up, and then it comes out and it's done. That's what I would like. That would streamline everything other than having these two receipts. So, what I've done is I'm probably not going to use FPOS New Zealand for main, divides, main divide ITs point of sale setup. What I'm going to use is, pro I'm probably going to use DPS if I'm honest, I'm going to use DPS because um, they can just have the one terminal like this here, connected to your computer, you can just have the one terminal connected to your computer, simple, bang, done. Right? Whereas this, you have all this. So I'll just demonstrate a sale again, FPOS, take it off, hand it to the customer, the customer goes, oh yep, thank you very much mate do one of those jobbies, then they would hand it back to you, you would then put it back in to the holder, then you'd have that, then you'd do that. I really don't like that. What I would like is for something like this, and I'll demonstrate this to you. So in an ideal world, you would have, let's say this is your terminal, it would be on your front counter facing your customer. Right, and then you'll just go, what do you want please, you want a Fanta, okay, good as, and you also want a custard square, alright, thank you very much. You then select your FPOS, cancel that, so let's say it was $5.80, then it would come up on this one here, but it would be all through like it was before. Right. Let's just say it was that. 
then you'd have that. In an ideal world, that's how I'd like to have it, but at the moment I just don't have that ability. With the 820 duet, you have clutter. I just don't like clutter, and you'd really want the EFOS terminal facing the customer at all times. I would think, anyway. Um, but that's just what I would want. Tell me your opinion on what you think if you, so put yourself in the customer's perspective. Would you just want everything from here to here, not including the mouse and keyboard, so just from a clutter point of view, would you just want a screen, printer and terminal? Or would you just want, or would you want something like a screen printer terminal, base station thingy, that facing the merchant? I'll just do another quick one, so do that, FPOS. This cuts down here. Then you would take it off, give it to your customer. Customer would do that. Customer would give it back to you. And then put it back on the base station. That would all print. And then that. Then you'd still have to click no to the customer receipt. I think it just slows the point of sale down and I don't personally like it. I like this a lot more. Like that. Rather than the two separate receipts as well. But I'll figure out how to not print it. And uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug this terminal and show you a close up. So this is the Verifone VX820 Duet FBOS terminal up close. This is your pin pad. So let me just unplug this from here. And I'll show you this in a minute. This is your pin pad. You have your keys down the bottom. You have your three and a half inch touch screen. I think it's three and a half inch anyway, don't quote me on that. Um, around the back you just have uh, that stuff there. You've lost New Zealand. We do have to send this back. You just have normal Phillips head screws, which um, surprises me. Uh, I guess this will have anti-tamper uh, sort, of, uh, sort of technology in it, but I'm not too sure. So that's uh, the pin pad itself. Now this um, is available in PCF POS, a PCF POS variant, which means it just plugs into USB instead of uh, the RJ11 port, which this is, that plugs into the uh, base station. Now uh, I have the PCF POS variant. Um, it's just exactly the same as this, just with two USB plugs on the end, one for power, one for data. Now, I shall move. Ugh, don't want to that. To move the camera back there. This is your base station. Um, so yeah, base station. It's really not much to it. You have your FPOS. FPOS. You have your thermal paper roll in there. Just like that. No auto cutter. It's obviously too small to have an auto cutter. Um, on the side you have the Verifone logo and your power jack and you rotate that and it locks in. Rotate it oh, 90 degrees and it locks in. Now on the back, I'll move the camera again. On the back here, you have one, two, three, four, five jacks. You have a USB jack, a pin pad jack, the RS-232 serial interface, port, ethernet and modem. Now these two, this plugs into your local network and you can do POSLink or you can just do, in it, or it can just reach out to the internet and reach out and do normal transactions, um, which I can do even connected to the POSLink, POSLink interface, which is good if your POS goes down. So there you go, and that would just be a DSL dial-up jack. So this just plugs into here like that. Is it? Oh, no, it's RJ45. There you go. But yeah, it just plugs in like a regular Ethernet jack. Just like that there. Not sure what the USB for is for, I guess it's for programming or something. RS-232, probably for the same thing as the USB to be honest. And you know, went through that other stuff and it just quite easily slips in like this here. Nothing to it, no clips, no nothing. So if you hand it to your customer, just go like that, just lift it straight up, putting it back in, go from the top, and it's down like that. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and a quick demonstration of the VX820 Duet FBOS terminal. Um, it was, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, make sure you hit subscribe and like. Thanks guys.